We are in store for a moderate La Nina this winter. And does that mean our winter is going to be looking like this with all of this snow? Well, I thought I would look at some weather data to see really how this is going to work out for us. And I started by looking at some of the top snowiest winter seasons and what phase then we were in when we had all of that snow. So five of those seasons we were in El Nino, four of them were in neutral and three of them were in La Nina. Overall, looking at this data, you're going to see it's fairly balanced. It's just kind of how our weather patterns work. But the one part to consider is out of these 12 is the strength. So four of them in that neutral category. Then we also had another four that were in a weak El Nino phase. And as far as La Nina, only one. But as I take a step back here, you'll see that 75 percent of our winter seasons, of the 12 snowiest winter seasons, we're either in a weak phase of El Nino, La Nina, or in the neutral phase. Now, it's important to look, though, at the patterns that we have, because when we have El Nino, you see kind of drier, warmer weather. That really doesn't signal snow. But then when we have La Nina, you can kind of see a little more of a wetter pattern. And then finally, in that neutral, we have wet and cold coming together. But the biggest takeaway is where your jet stream is. El Nino and La Nina are big drivers as far as where that jet stream that carries all of our winter storms are going to go. But when you're talking either a weak phase of El Nino or La Nina, you end up with something similar to the neutral phase where we have the wet and the cold starting to come together really close to the Ohio Valley, which means we are gonna be looking at a chance for some potentially snowy winter weather season. So now we have that moderate La Nina for this year. Looking back at the data, it doesn't look like we're going to have a look like this. We're probably more than likely going to see something that looks like this because out of our snowiest of winter seasons, none of them have occurred during a moderate La Nina. Reporting in studio, meteorologist Diane Phillips, WTOL 11.